good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and if you're looking behind me, this is our sweet jet airliner, friends. We are to our last project, so let's get cracking. So friends, our jet is three different lessons. The first one, we built the jet and added the amazing airfoils. In the second lesson, I showed you how to make these airfoils so that they can move. When you click on them, there's a rotation handle. If you move up at one degree, you can see that airfoil is moving just like it would in real life. And then our third lesson, we created the engines, which also have turbines that can move just like they would in real life as well. All right, friends, so the project works like this. Select everything by grabbing it all or doing control A. We're gonna lift it up a little bit, but then we want that height to be 250 and press enter. You can see the shadow of how it is still above us, but it's a long ways away. We can find it by hitting fit view to shape. If we orbit, what we have just done is made it so that we can get just our airplane on the screen. And we want to view from this back so that it's flying away from us. That way we can see the ailerons, the rudder, and the elevators of our aircraft. You can zoom in so you've got a good angle, making sure you've got all those parts visible, and then simply hit send to and save it. It's probably got your name. I'm putting mine in my downloads folder, and I'm just going to hit save. It's already there, so I'm going to put a number after it. I'm going to call this Jet Airliner 2. And then I'm going to also change and get another cool picture like it's flying at me. And I'm going to save that too. So I've got two different pictures I can play with. This one's got a one after it. I'm going to hit save. And now I'm ready to go to the next part of the project. I do want to grab all of my parts though. So I'm going to do that control A again. I'm going to hit the letter D to drop it to the ground. And then when we hit fit view, you can see everything is back just the way it was when we started. The next part happens in Pixlr X. Remember, you can just type Pixlr, and it'll take you to it. We are going to create a new image, and we want to do a full HD image. Make sure you pick that, and it's going to be, and this is going to be called Jet Labeled. This is the one that you have to turn in and hit Create. We are gonna add a fun background. You can try their stock ones. I found in my classroom it doesn't work, so we're just gonna use Google. And then you can put your jet anywhere you want. I'm gonna to go to Hawaii, because it's getting close to winter and that sounds good. Real quickly, zip down and find an image that you think is gonna be awesome to have your airplane in and labeled. I'm gonna choose this one right here. You have to click it once so that you can get to the large image and then right click and make sure you find the copy image choice. Return to Pixlr and then simply click once and do control V to paste that image in. It probably won't fit perfect so you can just stretch it so that it does fit where you want. I want to have lots of sky because I'm going to put my airplane up there. You want to make sure you don't have any dots hanging over. Then we need to return to the add image choice and this time we're going to browse for our cool image. Remember, we're using the downloads folder, and we want the second image where we can see the flaps. We are going to add current. We are going to quickly remove all the white using the cutout tool. We want the magic cutout. We want remove, and when we click on the white, boom, it's gone. Now, there are little chunks of white in between. We can click on those one at a time. And all of a sudden, your plane is flying up in the air just the way you'd expect it to be. If you hit move, you can put it anywhere you want. You can stretch it so it fills the sky. And then the last part of this project is we need to label the parts. You can click on that text button, add new text. And then where they have these long words, we're going to put our flight controls. So we're going to put ailerons. Make sure you spell it correctly shrink it down and put it right beside the ailerons and then we're going to add new text this one's going to be the rudder and i want you to place that rudder beside its shape i'm going to draw a little arrow in a moment so we know which one i'm talking about and then the last one is going to be the elevator 
Once again, we're keeping these small so they don't take up the entire picture, but it does show that we understand what we learned. We are also gonna real quickly put the fuselage. Once again, making sure you spell these correctly because it shows that we've learned all the awesome parts of our airplane and had a ton of fun while we were doing it. Let's close this tool and go to the drawing tool. We want to draw back on the main layer, so we've got to click down on it. I'm going to switch to the shape tool. I'm going to make my line size 5. And I'm going to just draw a line that connects to rudder and a line that connects to elevator, a line that connects to ailerons, and a line that connects to fuselage. Just like that, you have quickly labeled your awesome little airplane. We can hit close and you can hit save to turn in that project. We are going to use JPG. It's going to be called Jet Labeled and you can download it to your downloads folder. Make sure you have your initials after it and that one is ready to turn into Google Classroom. Friends, I've got one more fun trick for you before we go. You could bring in your other image. I love the way this image is sitting here, so I'm going to show you this with this image. I'm going to hide my text because I needed it so I could show off what I learned, but it really doesn't make my picture look the way I want. I need to keep this background with the labels, so I'm going to simply hide it, and I'm going to bring the background in again. So I'm just going to Hawaii once again, copy image, going to the blank spot down below, and I'm doing control V to paste it back in. If you don't have an extra blank spot, you can hit plus and bring it in. I'm going to take this layer, see how it's all the way up top? I'm going to bring it to the bottom. And you do that by just using the little arrow key so it's down below again. Once again, I'm going to stretch it out by using the move and making it look the way I want. So that's exactly how I want the flight to go. I want to remove the little rings so the picture looks a little cooler. Watch how easy this is. We're going to hit cutout, and this time I'm going to draw my cutout. I'm going to choose remove. I'm going to make it a little bit larger. I'm going to go all the way up to 116 pixels. And then I can simply touch the parts I don't want. Boom, it's gone. If you accidentally get too close, like I'm going to maybe take out a little bit of that wing, you can just use undo. I was actually pretty perfect, so I don't have to worry about it. But you can take your picture, and even though it had these rings that we needed, you can eliminate them simply by just dragging and getting rid of it. I am just scrolling the wheel in so I can see this. This is interesting. I notice a spot that I missed in the white that I didn't cut out earlier, and I can fix that right now, too. That one I might undo. This one, it gets a little closer, so I'm going to shut off the softness, and that way when I get right to this edge, it just flat out cuts. Sometimes you want to be a little less precise. That time I wanted to be really precise. Here I'm going to change the size to something really small, so notice it says 13 pixels. And I can just click inside there and cut out those little parts and make it darn near perfect. I can also do the magic cutout and remove, and boom, it'll cut out that white just like that. And lastly, friends, it's most fun if you add some fun text. I'm going to drop a little piece of text out here. Of course, a quick, efficient, let's get cracking. Friends, if you make something awesome, make sure you take time to share it with me. Uh, it's so cool to see them pop up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. On all of those, I am HL Mod Tech. I'm also HL Mod Tech on Gmail. Always good to hear from you guys. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.